so back with the v3s system and wanted to show you something new that i've added so that black card that you can see is a pci to sata card i was having issues with the ide to sata conversion thought i'd buy one of those and it turns out it's sort of a mixed hardware software uh, accelerator raid card um i'm not sure what exactly is going on with it but um yeah, yeah, let's see how it works. Uh, I'll move it towards the screen. We'll power it on. So, what ends up happening is any hard drive, I've connected four drives to it, any hard drive that's connected to it is not detected by the BIOS directly. So, the BIOS will load and then another uh, secondary BIOS will load from the um, RAID card. Um, so, just wait for this one to complete and similar to a normal bias you can go into the other bias setting where you just press f4 it will detect all the drives and here's the rate bias that you can go ahead and set stuff up so it has a couple of things it can do low level format um, which is secure quick format and secure format will take longer per drive um, but you know securely raises everything make sure uh, everything is written over a couple of times and stuff like that um, apart from that uh, of course the basic stuff is you can create a RAID array uh, you can go, to go RAID 0, 2 drives, auto configure and for some reason it's just taking in 100 gigabytes but uh, create RAID 0, 2 drives manual uh, 64k this one and this one so yeah so now we have a 2 terabyte RAID with those two drives and you can actually go ahead and see here that our RAID drives are these two drives now the issue is that you know you, you I can set this I can control E and it will start booting from the USB drive uh, as my boot drive to boot Linux but as we'll see this RAID configuration is not um, accepted by Linux at all so uh, Linux doesn't like that RAID configuration for some reason and it just detects all the hard drives individually and does not show the, the RAID setup and maybe it's a driver issue maybe it was never implemented or some weird stuff like that but it, it it's definitely something um, that sort of makes this card useless if you want to use it for RAID so you can see our RAID setup shows on the um, RAID cards bias but as soon as we will boot into the installer um, you will see that the RAID setup doesn't show up alright so as you can see the installer is up and as you should remember like um, we had created a RAID drive and that showed up uh, in the um, RAID BIOS as well when we were rebooting and everything seemed to be working fine so this particular step is going to take a while because it's going to go through everything and detect like um, all the drives and stuff so uh, it, it shows that it has found a drive that it cannot determine what uh, header it has and we'll just click next I think it will find three drives like that and another one so once this is done it should show us what all drives are available to install in and just just wait for that UI to load up and right so shows us the 80 gig drive up there and to one terabyte drive and my USB drive that I'm booting from and that's about it so the actual RAID that we created is not detected by Linux so that's one of the issues um, with this card and that actually has been uh, shown off quite a lot now I think if we do alt F2 
2 or control alt f2 uh, it should give me the console here and if I go D message and then ATA oops let's grab that and so it shows the drive just fine uh, no errors um, uh, it's, it's working fine it's detecting all the drives it detecting the beta or pata or id port we have and all the uh, sata drive we have on the um, on the sil or uh, silicon labs uh, area so the silicon labs driver is uh, detected fine mm -hmm. and if we go here and just say sil let's see what that shows up if we have any errors but it just shows up the um, hosts and if we go we say pci and it just shows up our pci uh, pci layout um, and no errors as such as well so yeah uh, the driver is loading fine everything's going on fine according to this but um, it's just that the linux itself does not recognize the uh, the raid drive so if i also go and say ls slash dev disks by UUID and it only shows two of them um, if we go let's see what the other disk is L and so SDD and SDD2 uh, the other ones might not have been mounted yet but I mean yeah SDD SDD2 is I think the uh, boot drive uh, DFH shows us uh, not much yeah so the SDD uh, is the boot drive um, and that's all it's showing in the UID part uh, that's probably because the UID I mean they are not formatted uh, with a file system so let's go by path and here we have multiple ones so we have SDD, we have SDD1 and 2, SDA, SDB and SDC and SR0 so those are our four physical drives but again as you can see there is no um, no other sort of drive as such uh, no RAID uh, that stuff doesn't get detected so um, yeah that's like one of the issues there is with this particular card right there is that the RAID functionality uh, doesn't really work I'm, I'm trying to get the underneath of the card without having to plug it out but I mean yeah that's about as much as you can see I'll, I'll post a photo of it but yeah that's sort of it thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed the video